Hello everyone and welcome again. In this video I'm going to be talking about coping and dealing with depression. Now I know that depression is very prominent in modern day life and there are many people that are struggling to find a way out. Um, so I'm hoping that people will that struggle with depression will be uh, active as far as commenting if they do struggle with it on my uh, YouTube or my Facebook so please if you do have any problems with depression please uh, don't be shy you can even private message me if you would like to have a simple chat so you don't have to go at this alone but I'm gonna be talking about what you can do to help yourself cope and deal with it is it any wonder that depression is at an all-time high uh, in modern society we have re uh, we have stupid expectations to fit in we have ridiculous expectations of what it is to be beautiful we pursue shallow relationships and there's a host of other things that contribute to us being depressed such as that we do not examine our minds we don't examine why we feel the way that we do so that has to do with many of our beliefs so we do not examine them and see what is causing the depression so in the long term you, people should examine what contributes to your depression and not simply try to cope Coping will be a short-term solution to kind of like put it uh, to diminish the impact that depression has on you, but it will not eliminate it until that you explore what are the causes of you being depressed. So first of all, do not try to fit in. Don't f fall into the trap of fitting into a box that society has out there for us find your own way do not let them dictate how you should be in life so the second thing I would say if you have financial problems that are contributing to your depression find something that you love to do as far as your job so it doesn't feel like a job and then money will be just a added bonus to the fact that you're doing something that you love now also there is a problem of shallow relationships as I said do not pursue shallow relationships they will not serve your your long-term happiness seek something fulfilling do not go for a short-term fix and when it comes to the expectations of what it is to be beautiful please do not go and try to be this model that will have all the perfect features that that society deems as beautiful we are all beautiful in our own way so find what makes you beautiful and then you will no longer be depressed because you fail to meet in a certain expectation of what it is to be beautiful so back to exploring your mind your beliefs and yourself do that I know that we're short on time in modern society but don't watch TV for two hours tonight explore the possibilities of why you could be depressed I know that if you're depressed right now it will be very difficult for you to explore these things because you're kinda of like really down and it's hard for you to explore things uh, clearly so do so when you're a little bit more at ease and at peace and then explore these things and find out what makes you tick what makes you believe the things that you do that are contributing to your depression and by doing so then you'll start getting to the root of it and that's the only way that you can resolve depression in the long term so as I said, the, the coping strategies are only for uh, a, a short-term solution, and they will the, the coping strategies will help you diminish it, but it will not eliminate your depression. 
So at the end, only us, we are the only ones that can resolve the problem that we have inside of us. So do some research. Look into what are the causes of depression and what you can do to change that. Another thing you can do is talk to people that have some knowledge in depression or perhaps psychology in general. Connect with people. That that will be a very good way for you to be able to first of all express yourself and then maybe express some of the sadness or the anxiety or whatever is the cause of your depression. Don't let this stay within you and deal with it alone. As long as you can express it that way at least is out there and it's not trying to be contained within yourself so talk to people do research do things that will help you in the long term so when we explore our minds and our beliefs we will find some interesting things and once that we have identified the components let's say that you're depressed because you're anxious or that because you're fearful because you're uh, sad find out what are the things that are contributing to your depression and, and when you do that because you have identified it it won't have as big grip on you because you now know what are the, the components the, the causes of it and that'll help you to at least have that in your mind that you know what is behind it now I remember when I was depressed and I decided one day that I had enough and I wanted to find out what was wrong inside and what I found was that I was anxious that was contributing to my depression but at the end of the day the bigger problem was that I had low self-esteem now when I found that out what I had to do obviously is to kind of like try to find a way to help my uh, self-esteem so I could find a way out of it and there's many ways that you can go about fixing low self-esteem I've already covered a little bit of that in some previous videos and I'm gonna be talking about it in future videos I'm gonna be dedicating a video simply on that in the future so if, if you're curious about what you can do to, to get uh, higher self-esteem and be more confident and secure in yourself just keep on watching and stay tuned you're gonna have some more insights on what uh, one can do for that so back to my depression I was depressed because I had low self-esteem and I was taking life too seriously but also I was seeing myself as a victim as someone that was basically at the mercy of life and that was very difficult because it was the way I was seeing it although I was in a sense justified to see it that way it wasn't really I wasn't very I wasn't seeing things very clearly at that point because of the low self-esteem and the anxiety that was contributing to me seeing things a little bit uh, pessimistic uh, I was pessimistic about things especially about myself. Depression is similar to a, a narrowing, a, a collapsing where you start feeling that you have no space or that you are overwhelmed and there is no escape. So you can't move and you have this anxiety collapsing on you or your fear collapsing on you and that makes you feel overwhelmed and you feel that you cannot cope with whatever is bugging you and then obviously because we can't cope and feeling overwhelmed we we feel that we have no hope and this is going to be the end of us or there's nothing we can do to free ourselves so one of my favorite philosophers Alan Watts used to talk about something that really really changed the way I saw to, uh, how I saw life and that is that he said that imagine heaven as infinite space 
and imagine hell as having no space to, to move that is so if you understand that you'll understand what I said previously on feeling overwhelmed and collapsing and narrowing so in a sense depression is a sort of hell because we feel trapped and we don't feel that there is a way out but if we keep on seeing it that way then we'll make it a reality so that the, the, the trick is to no longer see it as uh, you being stuck or trapped there is a way out there is and that is to exp explore your own mind and your own beliefs so depression is a feeling of being overwhelmed so we're overwhelmed with anxiety with fear frustration perhaps anger and all of these things overwhelmed us so we can't cope so back to learning to cope with it and learning coping strategies even though that they are short-term solutions they're very worthwhile to pursue because they can kind of knock us off the perception or the way we see things temporarily enough that we can gain some insight into what is behind the depression that we have if you're frustrated tomorrow you might be totally elated and all the worries that you had today will be gone tomorrow we don't know what is gonna happen tomorrow so there is still hope while we keep on trying and we persist and be brave in life that we will be able to overcome the things that bug us but only if we decide to explore and see what the contributing factors are learn to meditate just find a way to calm your mind um, read exercise eat healthier these are all little things that will be able to help you in the long term now I know it won't be instant that you will be able to say oh well I I ate healthy today and now because of that my depression is over no it's not gonna be that way but these things are long-term safeguards against falling into a deep depression so these are all long-term things so explore your mind again please explore why you're depressed Ex explore why you're anxious explore why you're so you have such low self-esteem and when you do then you can find a way to deal with it explore your mind and also challenge your viewpoints and your negative thoughts your negative thoughts are not the whole picture you know these people that say oh I'm a realist and I'm pessimistic and being pessimistic is being real that is such hogwash there there are many examples of there being some positive things in life and then like just because you want to ignore it and you want to be right you feel that because you're sad or you're frustrated and you're bitter that you're a realist you're not you're just pessimistic don't sugarcoat this so I want to thank everybody here for watching and as I said in the beginning of the video if you have any questions or comments please leave a comment on my YouTube or find me on Facebook if you don't have a YouTube account you can leave a message uh, a comment and leave a comment or a question on my Facebook I'm more than willing to discuss a little bit and see if we can get the ball moving as far as getting out of your depression you don't have to be uh, going at this alone there are many people like me that are more than willing to help you out so again thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time